Oh. Preventable diseases are making a comeback. In the yolks alone, there are 372 cases of measles. It seems I was nearly eradicated. Herd immunity. If you are the only one not vaccinated in a group of 500, you're a lot safer than if there's 250 of them. 900,000 people die per year from preventable disease. That's not good. Polio. A world that used to inspire terror in France worldwide. It's making a comeback, y'all. It's being recalled to life. Is he? Is he? Uh, guy? Um, help? 1952. 3,000 children died from polio. Well, last year, 2018, only one child died. Now, you're probably thinking, it's pretty good. 2,999 less children died. But, that's only the deaths. If you take into account the paralyzation that polio causes, and just people have polio in general, it went down to people got vaccinated, and as parents forgot about what polio could do and what it was, Stop vaccinating the children. It's like, hey, I haven't seen it. I don't know anyone's polio. Why should I vaccinate them? They're probably fine. And then, guess what? Guess who got started having polio come back? Everyone didn't vaccinate the children. So all the cases, every people have polio, it's gone up. They may not die from it, but it has certainly gone up nationwide. 2012, there are 48,277 reported deaths of children from whooping cough. That's a good number, and that's not even counting the ones that either weren't diagnosed or weren't reported. In a case study with vaccinated children versus unvaccinated children, zero children died from any of the diseases that they were vaccinated against, while in the unvaccinated children, three children died total. That's 300% more children that died who were unvaccinated. So by being vaccinated, you are 300% less likely to be killed by from a disease. Having your child vaccinated or being vaccinated yourself is a great way to ensure the survival of the human race and humankind in general. Lights, camera, action. I just... <laughs> How is that? Polio. Polio. Oh my god, super villain polio. <laughs> Polio, lightning. a world that used to inspire terror and Polio. parents worldwide. Polio, lights come up from the bottom, lightning in the background. Polio, a world with 72 cases of it, of measles. Polio, a world that used to inspire parent. What the f Okay, you sure? Yeah, I know what I'm doing, I swear. Polio, a- I know what I'm doing. No. Polio, a world that- a world. A world that used to inspire terror. Because polio is an entire world now. <laughs> In 1952, there were 30, 30, 30,000, it's not 30,000. Oh. What year was I saying? 1952. You know! Take this tennis ball. Oh, I missed. Uh, uh, vaccinate their children from, for, from, polio. <laughs> Take number 987. Take number five. I did my research. I don't want to talk about, of course. Do you? <laughs> oh. In 1952, there were 3,000 deaths from polio. And last year, there's only one. Now, that's pretty good, you might be thinking. It's like 299, 299, 299. Because 3,000 minus one is 299. Pretty good. There were 2,999. Children, less ch ch <laughs> No! <laughs> no! Go. <laughs> okay. Go. In 1952, there were 3,000 deaths from polio and children under the age of... Actually, I don't know what the age it was. I just made that up. Okay. Take... Like a real scientist in that case. <laughs> In 1952, 3,000, what is this accent? I don't know. In 1952, I did it again. In yeah. 1952. In 1952. How may I help you? Children. Shut up, Wayne. Oh my God. Actually, it's not even my hat.
Uh, yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't live here. 